Hey, it's Mike. Welcome to the channel. So guys, today let's talk about epics in Jira. I'm going to very quickly show you how to create them, but also how to use them, because in my opinion, there is actually still a confusion and kind of misconceptions because I very often hear from people, oh, you're not supposed to use epics in that way. And is it really that important? Let's clarify that. But guys, just before we're going to do it, just to let you know that everything, what you're going to see in this video, it's part of our paid service. So why not checking a description or the first comment with our paid services, but also free services. Maybe you require a GR training for you or your team, or maybe you just need a few hours of consultations because as I told you before in all their videos, devils in the details, and sometimes you just need someone from outside who's gonna look at your Jira and set it up correctly. So please don't forget, no adverts obviously on this channel. Uh, why? Because it is supported by you uh, using our paid services. So why not checking right now? All right, so now let's go back to the video. So first guys, let's go into Google and ask Google what the hell is an Epic, yeah? Because Epic in Jira, it's a special issue type, but it is an issue type. So uh, the definition probably from whatever Google chat GPT is saying uh, that in Agile, because obviously in Agile, it is a large body of work. Yeah. So in a simple words, it means that Epic is a large task. And you know what? This is when you are thinking, should I use Epic or should I not use Epic? Should I use components? Hmm. Here, it's actually interesting conversation. And I'm going to tell you, you should have this in mind. It's going to help you. Why? Because sometimes, sometimes I see actually people, I've just been actually talking to a client and they've been actually using uh, components as epics. And yes, in some cases that is going to work. However, it's going to cause later a little bit problems. Why? Because I'm talking about timeline. I highly, highly actually recommend to use timeline. Yeah. And by default, by default, of course, in Jira, Epic is on top of the hierarchy. By default. Why I'm talking about this by default? Because obviously, if you like me using Jira Premium, I know you can do it. You, you can do what I'm talking about in, non, in Jira, actually, standards. But if you're using Jira uh, Premiums and you've got the plans, uh, Jira Premium allows you to create a uh, an issue type above epics. I'm called, of course, initiatives or heroes, however we're going to call it. Yeah, by the way, yes, I, we've got a video on the channel about the initiatives. Yeah. And by default, it is, of course, on the top. So we, so it means Jira supports up to these three levels. We've got epic and underneath the epic, we've got, we can have like this bags, we can have a story tasks, whatever issue types you want. And of course, under stories, under bags, whatever, you know, tasks, you can have a subtasks, but you cannot have a subtask connected to uh, an epic. Yeah, I think many years ago it was possible, but now no. And and why it is also a special issue type. So now actually Atlassian is not recently, a while ago introduced really, really nice change uh, because before you have to actually put like epic name and 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 mm, and the summary. Now the, the epic name is not required anymore. Yeah. So I just created a new project. Uh, I would like to show you and, and give you that demo, mm, but also got this little story for, you know, like just trying to explain your real based on real life examples, how to use it and how I would use it. Yeah. So let's say oh, this is what I created. Uh, many years ago, I've been doing a web design. I was, I was actually running my web design agency and Let's assume this project already exists. Yeah, there is actually a lot of tasks. We've got some teams, yeah, and it's run on a Scrum. By the way, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a Scrum or, 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 or Kanban from, from, from Epic perspective, yeah? However, let's say this in this uh, this particular example, and let's say, uh, you know, I am as the Scrum Master slash product owner, which most of the small companies, that's how it operates. Uh, my boss approached me and said, Mike, look, we need to, let's say, uh, redesign a blog section on this website. Yeah, so I'm just saying, okay, that's fine. But hmm, that is actually a little bit larger project. However, it's not the project because it, it, that project already exists. And I know I need to uh, have a graphic designer involved to that. I need a coder. Yeah, maybe maybe even I need some uh, writers yeah, to, to, to help me with that. Maybe not. 
So as I assume, I estimate that it's going to be oh about two months of work. So because we run two week sprints, well yeah three maybe three four uh, sprints to complete these tasks yeah. And this is actually really really important information for it because it's a task. It is actually a, it's a collection of tasks, but it's a large 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 collection of tasks. However, it is actually too small to create a separate project. And also, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it because already I've got, let's say, 50 projects in my Jira and uh, it's going to confuse me. So guys, this is actually really, really good. Actually, um, example. Now I am going to create an epic. Yeah. So now I understand. OK, so how to start? It's a simple process. Of course, as I told you, it needs to be Jira uh, Agile. However, if maybe, 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 because if you go to the Jira, pro Jira and start creating projects, you've got something like marketing. And for some reasons, you would like to use, uh, let's say, this project management epic, because by default, they don't have it. Sometimes this project only have got one issue type, which is a task or bug, whatever. You can always, always, always have the epic. Yeah? But if we're talking about Agile, they're always going to be there by default. Yeah. So let's assume it's a default setup. By the way, if it's not and Epic is missing, uh, don't forget. Uh, don't forget you can you can you can check it from project settings. Go to the issue types. But again, let's assume it as a default setup. Yeah. So now, how to create an Epic? It's a very very simple process. Actually, you can do it in a few different ways. However, if you like me, very often use um, that that quick method, as we call the create Epics. Uh, sorry, create issue types from a backlog, which is possible. Actually, I recommend that method. You won't be able to find Epics on that list. And this is actually on purpose. However, they are here, but a little bit hidden, a little bit hidden. OK, so what's the first method how to create epics? Of course, using the big blue button create. We go to create and make sure the project is specified. And now we have our epic as the issue type. And look at this. Now you just need to fill up the information what you need. Summary, yeah? I'm going to call mine. Uh, whatever zero two zero zero one zero two whatever that is good good practice to put a name parent no we don't need however however if we if you would like to pick a parent which is possible yeah you can you can do it actually yeah you can actually say it's show with the don issues because it is possible it is now it is possible this is that new 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 feature in the hierarchy yeah uh, that's why I highly recommend you to have a Jira Premium, yeah. And of course, you now I've, I've got some some maybe components, put some descriptions, whatever information you need. But generally speaking, that's it. And what is going to happen when you create that? It's done. But yes, by default, you won't be able to find them in the backlog and active sprint. So they are not showing in backlog and active sprints. However, they here. <laughs> I've got funny, funny, funny. I've got a list re recently a form for him from, from a client that he was complaining, Mike, you know, something's up and Jira doesn't work, of course. We created like 20 epics and nothing, nothing is showing. So guys, if this is actually the case, please don't forget that every time if you get a situation like this, go to the issues, go to the issues and you're going to find all issues. Yeah, all issues. Why? Because obviously, please don't forget that backlog and active sprint. It's a filter. Yeah, it, the, the board, it's a filter. So it actually it, uh, by default, it's filter to not show epics in that way. Why? Because there is this special, special place. <laughs> if you navigate to epics, you need to show epic panel. Yeah, there you go. This is, by the way, I use company managed projects in team manage is a little different, but also similar, also similar. However, if you actually cannot see this epic panel, because sometimes I also got people who complain about this, go to the configure board. And I believe it's going to be somewhere, somewhere, somewhere there. At least I actually move this, but it's actually start showing that epic control panel. Still some old projects, they migrating actually to this new view. But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes some old project with this actually extra feature needs to be enabled right there. But again, you know, that's, that, that's beyond this conversation. So now we know that if we use the E key, you're going to see this extra control panel of the epic because why there is no point to show them if my uh, my large task is going to take me two or three spins to complete them to show it on the on the on the backlog yes i know and actually sometimes i've got people who ask me but we need them if that's the case sure just go to the board not going to show you how to do it but it, you need to adjust a little bit uh, filter yeah 
So how we start actually associating issues with with an epic? You can do it, of course, in a few different ways. Uh, it, the first, I already got it something, so you can literally just drag and drop this, or use that extra plus button. And sometimes actually I use it because why? It is possible to link issues to epics from different projects, and this is actually guys really really important. So it means you know it, it, it means you can link um, issues from other projects to uh, Epic, which is not uh, is another project. Yeah, why? Because maybe graphic designer, I don't know, got the good project uh, as a separate project, yeah? What else? Yes, it is actually um, a special issue type, as I told you, and if we actually open it in a full screen, you're gonna see, I'm gonna open it in the full screen, you're gonna see you can change the color, plus, plus this is actually really cool, you can start adding issues uh, from basically from the from that epic yeah it's just gonna actually start creating them and if you think like me atlassian uh, intelligence that's, that's the that's the ai from premium it can actually generate even some list uh for you and i have to say it's it's not really that bad uh, you don't have to pick everything. It's just an example. Yes, I'm just gonna say this, maybe this, maybe this. You know? uh, but I think it's actually pretty, pretty good. If especially if the name of the epic is uh, correct. Yeah. Look at this. I've already created some issues. Yeah. So now when I'm gonna go back to the backlog, I will actually see even more tickets in the backlog. Really clever. I think. I think. I, I quite like. It. I quite like it. It's actually pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Right. So. Guys, we cover that. You know how to start, how to use them, but there is this extra little extra twist, little, little extra twist, why I also highly recommend you to use them, yeah? And again, now you probably can see a pattern. Is it the right way or there is a wrong way how to use Epic? It's up to you. I, I give you my my suggestion, also Agile definition. And, 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 and why I suggest actually to use it like there and not use components or custom fields for that, because there's one really, really massive advantage of that, especially if you don't have like me, GR Premium, you could use timelines, because please remember, timelines are highly, highly, highly actually um, utilizing Epic. So it means if you've got an issue and that issue is not related uh, to an Epic, obviously it's not gonna show it on the timeline that's it's a different in the plants but agile always should have epics and you know from from there you can you can actually change um that that's the sprints yeah so obviously it's not about timeline you can actually explore them at time really 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 powerful so guys that's gonna be it please uh introduce this knowledge into practice also please do not forget that in the description you're gonna find a um, link to my link tree with my paid services courses consultations or if you are not sure unsure what to do next and you've got some issues with you i also offer the 20 30 minutes uh, discovery call it is going to be in the description all right that's going to be it i think i think the list is right 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 there with of course other uh, gia videos so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe thank you